We're getting through the morning here with AIG Local Heroes, where Fergal Whiteley is one of the Dublin ambassadors here, helping the kids learn their skills in football and hurling. Uh, Fergal, probably a shorter hurling season than you would have liked. Yeah, well, it's it's definitely weird being done at this stage. Um, it's not something we would have planned for. Uh, I suppose the first game against Kilkenny, really, if we, if we had won that, it would have given us a kickstart for the summer. And it's it's just dis- disappointing it's all over, really. And um, so we just need to take our positive performances uh, to next year. What's it like, the fact that you were knocked out so early in the championship and other teams as well went out after you, but the lower leagues and the lower divisions are still playing? What's it like watching that? Yeah, it is. It's it's definitely weird. Um, I suppose it's, it's maybe something the GA have to look at because I know ourselves, uh, Offaly, Tipperary and Waterford are all finished now and there's no, there's no hurling for anyone. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely something maybe that could be looked at. Would I be right in saying it possibly took you guys a lot longer to find your groove than you thought you would? Yeah, well, I suppose we had a few. Our, our league form left a lot to be desired and that kind of showed in the in the results um i think towards the end of the league we sh- or towards the end of the league we showed uh signs of of improved performance and we knew um we knew we had something in us because we were working very hard and uh i think we we probably showed that in the championship it's just a pity we didn't we didn't get the results uh we maybe we felt we earned what was missing so it was maybe small things um a bit of luck, possibly, about refereeing decisions. Uh, just, yeah, I suppose. Just, yeah, I suppose. You look at the first day against Kenny, the the decision at the end for the Kenny goal kind of maybe possibly cost us. Uh, but I suppose you just have to take that, and hopefully you'll get a bit of luck next year. Is it as simple as luck, though, or were there other things as well when you look back when you have your post mortems? Yeah, well, yeah, we definitely like we were ahead. We were ahead at half time and we conceded a lead, so we definitely have to look at ourselves. And I think our performance definitely went down in the second half. So we have a young team, we have a lot of young players, and hopefully they can kick on the next few years and um, hopefully win something for Dublin hurling. Before I spoke to you, I spoke to Ali Tuig from the Dublin Camogie team, and obviously they're being coached by a Kilkenny man. And she was saying that one of the things the Dublin ladies really have to learn is ruthlessness to close out games the way Kilkenny have and done. And Kilkenny did it to you. Is that some a quality you'd like to work on, or is it something you admire about Kilkenny? Yeah, well, yeah, it's definitely something Kilkenny. Are you associate with Kilkenny? And we, I think, we were ahead in injury time in our first two games against Kilkenny and Wexford. So it's definitely something we need to look at closing out games. And even our last game against Galway, um, we were ahead and we we let the lead slip. So. It's something something we'll have to work on and being more ruthless. Well, I was up in Parnell Park the day you played Offaly and I was actually very impressed with how you played. You did really well. I assume though, obviously an inter-county hurler, you're never going to rest on your laurels. You're going to be taking stuff from this championship to be working on for next year. What are you going to be working on for yourself personally? Uh, well, personally, I suppose just I'm, I'm still, I'm still re- reasonably inexperienced um, as a forward, just uh, taking chances really. Um, being more clinical and I, I probably wasn't as clinical as I would have liked to have been in, in, in a lot of the games so uh, that's something in particular I'd, I'd work on yeah. Can that become a bit of a vicious circle though because in your mind you're thinking I want to be more clinical I need to take a chance to become more clinical I'm not sure if this is a good place to be taking that chance I've taken the chance it's gone wide does that play on your mind? Well, I suppose, yeah, you'd be, you'd be trying to focus on one particular thing and then something else goes wrong, I suppose. You just need to keep yourself ticking over, I suppose. And it's, uh, I suppose, yeah, it is, it is a vicious circle, but as, as long as you're improving, and we saw this here, like, we did improve and our performances did improve, so you just kind of have to keep that in your mind.